Greetings, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to F2 World, the channel where we explore all things Final Fantasy. We are currently on the pilgrimage to 50 subscribers. When we reach that goal, I will be uploading twice a week, so be sure to subscribe if you are new and are interested in this kind of content. So for today's video, we will be taking a look at one of the supporting characters in Final Fantasy X. The interesting thing about this character is that his name has been used throughout the Final Fantasy series. If you haven't guessed yet, we will be exploring the life of Sid, the father of Riku and brother, and the leader of the Albed. So without further ado, let's get started. Sid is an Albed human who serves as the leader of the Albed. According to the Final Fantasy X Omega, he is 37 years old during the events of the game. He is known to be very loud and boisterous, who is very proud of his Machina inventions, being the one responsible for the creation of the Albed base home in Bicanel Island before it was invaded by the Guado. He has a tattoo on his head that spells the Albed word for love. He is bald, has black eyebrows, and some facial hair. His outfit is typical of what the Albed normally wear, sporting a yellow and brown dive suit type of outfit with green belt and a collar with blue elbow-length gloves and blue shoes. Similar to Riku, he has goggles hanging around his neck, but he is never seen wearing them. Sid has the personality of a fighter, always going into fights head-on for what he believes in. And much like the other Albed, he harbors hatred for Yevin due to their treatment of the Albed. So when his sister married a Yevonite, he was angry and stopped talking to his sister. However, this changed when Yuna was born, Sid was always known to care and protect for his children and niece and is against Yuna becoming a summoner, showing this by telling Oren that if they allowed her to complete the final summoning ritual to defeat Sin, it is as though they are killing her themselves. His fiery personality can sometimes lead to unreasonable decisions, such as when he suggests crashing the Fahrenheit airship into Sin, which would result in killing of all of the people inside the airship. He is also known to be old-fashioned, when he has a falling out with brother for not seeing things the way he does, as well as not approving of Yuna and Riku's decision to become sphere hunters during the events of Final Fantasy XII, wanting them to seek out being married instead. He has shown hints of being an entrepreneur when he attempts to start a tourism business in the Xanarkand ruins, but the disapproval from Yuna makes him seize the error of his ways and reflects. When he reunites with his children, he reverts to his bossy ways ordering brother and Riku around once again. During the events of Final Fantasy X, he plays a supporting role behind the scenes, as he initiates the excavation of the airship from the underwater ruins near Baj Temple, with Riku and brother leading the charge. Being motivated by the loss of his brother-in-law and his sister, he devises a plan for the Albed to abduct the summoners, including Yuna, and keep them in the summoner's sanctum while convincing them to give up on their pilgrimages. He leads the defense of home when it is raided by the Guado, and aids Yuna's guardians in rescuing her when she gets taken by Seymour. He helps fight off Evre and takes the party to Bevel as they rescue Yuna. He picks them up in the Fahrenheit after they defeat Yuna Leska and break the final summoning tradition. Being an Albed, he does not believe in Yevon and despises Yevonites, thus he does not believe the tradition of the cycle of death in Spira. After being convinced to help Yuna and her guardians, aids them in finding a weakness in Sin in order to defeat it once and for all. During his time helping Yuna and her guardians defeat Sin from within the Fahrenheit, he forgives Waka when he apologizes for his prejudice towards the Albed, feeling empathic due to his own history. He is present and alive when Yuna finally defeats Sin once and for all. In the events of Final Fantasy XII, he does not play as big of a role as his old-fashioned quality appears when he disapproves Yuna and Riku becoming sphere hunters, wanting them to settle down and get married instead. His inability to adjust to the new world causes issues with his children, and they fall out as he attempts to restore home. Throughout the game, he decides to open businesses to fund for the restoration of home, and begins by attempting to use the Xanarkin ruins as a tourist site to make money. When Yuna, Riku, and Pain discover this, they tell him off that what he is doing is wrong and essentially turning the ruins into an amusement park. Seeing that the Albed care more about their futures rather than restoring home, he abandons the Xanarkin ruins business plan and spends time alone on the Thunder Plains to reflect. After discovering a cave that he explores leading to him getting injured, he boards the Celsius when he is saved by the Gullwings, and Brother is forced to let him in 
and another argument with his children occurs, deciding to permanently stay in the airship's bar in the aftermath. He makes one more attempt at funding the restoration of home by starting a business with Owaka in Mount Gagazit's hot springs, but this also results in poor success. And that concludes the life story of Sid that we know of. As one of the main supporting characters outside Yuna and her guardians, Sid is someone who is willing to fight for what he believes in, but it can sometimes get him into trouble. He is a reckless individual whose actions and decisions can affect his loved ones and often clashes with them, but he is a strong leader with a good heart and is very proud of being an Albed. And that will end today's video. I hope you all enjoyed the video covering the life story of Sid in the Final Fantasy X and Final Fantasy XII games. Not to worry, we will eventually cover every Sid that exists in all the Final Fantasy games. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel if you are new. Also comment your thoughts and possible topic suggestions. I will be reading for comments for all the videos and I would love to hear your thoughts on them. And that will conclude today's video and that, as they say, is that.